It's time now for a look at the latest in local sports. In sports, the high school golf team captured the region championship this week and have qualified for the state event set for May 16th at Okie Finoki Golf Course in Waycross, Georgia. Golfers have a home meet here today at the Pine Forest Country Club. They host Savannah Country Day. At the region meet, the team shot a 321, 12 shots better than second place Ware County. Antonio Warbay shot 77, Finley Burke shot 78, Brett Malloy shot 81. All three of those golfers were named to the all-region team. Aiden Jones shot 85, Jacob Strickland 89, and Ashton Davis shot 89. The Wayne County girls placed third, and they qualify for the state sectional set for May 2nd in Cartersville. Kenzie Hobbs shot 84, Kesslin Carter shot 102, Kaylee Joe Martin shot 106, and James and Stevens shot 122. Team score was 292. Once again, the golfers at home today, they host Savannah Country Day at the Pine Forest Country Club. High school baseball team headed to Warner Robins for a doubleheader day on Friday. First game tomorrow at 4.30, second game set for 7.30. Both games can be heard right here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Jackets won game one Tuesday night by a score of 4-3. Jackets will be in state playoff action beginning Wednesday. There will be a three-seed on the road. Time and opponent has not been determined, but we'll have all that information on Monday's sportscast. Doubleheader at Warner Robins on Friday. Again, the JV closed out its season on Wednesday with an extra inning win over Appling County. And Grayson Spell and Kate Lynn combined for the win on the mine. Grayson Spell won two for two at the plate with an RBI. Luke Carter, Joshua Eby, Andy Peel, and Zachary Metters all had hits in the game. Again, the, the JV defeat Appling County in extra innings yesterday to close out their regular season. Braves have the day off. They lost yesterday afternoon to the Dodgers by a score of 5-1. to one. Braves will be home over the weekend for a series with the Miami Marlins. Defending champions so far have not won a series this year, so hopefully they'll change that when they host the Miami Marlins this weekend at home. This Friday morning at the high school auditorium, three Wayne County High School seniors will sign athletic scholarships. Asher Cathy will sign with South Georgia State. Emmy Schalfin will sign with Piedmont University, and Garrison Keith will sign with Morehouse College. That signing ceremony is set for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Public invited to attend. NFL draft set for April 28th through the 30th. The Atlanta Falcons have said goodbye to longtime quarterback Matt Ryan, who's now with Indianapolis. Falcons on Wednesday had Ole Miss quarterback Matt Corral visit. Wednesday was the last day teams could visit personally with team, with players before the upcoming draft. Falcons hold the eighth overall pick in round one. The word is that they think Corral will be around in round two, and they hope to be able to select him then. And there are four top quarterbacks in the draft. Liberty's Malik Willis, Pitt's quarterback Kenny Pickett, and Cincinnati's Desmond Ritter, along with Ole Miss quarterback Matt Corral. And Corral, 6'2", 212 pounds. Again, most think he'll be around in round two. Falcons may use their second pick to take him. Falcons signed Marcus Mariota to a modest two-year $18.7 million deal in the offseason. They also have on their roster Felipe Franks. They did not re-sign A.J. McCarron, who was on the roster last year as a quarterback. So the Falcons looking for a quarterback in the upcoming NFL draft. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.